Hello again. This time we're going to have a look at some more things you can do with your Minecraft Studio software. It really is such an amazing piece of software and I think we can hardly touch the, the tip of its capabilities in this. But I want to show you how I use the crop. So what I want to show you is I'm going to take a frame. So I'm going to take my frame and this is going to be my frame and I want to put my sentiment in there. Now I want to put my sentiment in with it landscape. So there you go, you can see you've got your degrees on here. So you can see that it's square by the fact that it's on 270 um, degrees, i.e. there you go, it's 360 minus 90. Now I'm just going to take that off the screen because that's not my, this is my workable area. And then from here I'm going to take my sentiments and I'm going to come right down and there's one down here that I want to use that says with love if I can find it. Where is it? It was here a few minutes ago. Why can I never find them when, I, when I'm looking for them? It said with love. Where's it gone? There it is, right, there we go. I went too far past it. It's a bit small at the moment, so let's make that bigger. Now, we could pop that inside our frame and it would look lovely. Let's make it a bit smaller. And a little bit smaller. There we go. You can see that fits in beautifully, but we can also stagger it. And I want to stagger this. So let's just move this out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste my sentiment so that I've got it twice. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to use my crop and I'm going to highlight the width first. Oh, it's done it down here. Cancel that. Sorry, I was didn't look at which one was highlighted, so cop, not copy, crop. So we can then crop and we'll take the just the width. Now can you see everything, once I show there, you can see how the love is almost misted out because that's the bit we've not cropped. So there we've got the width and then I'm going to highlight that one and I'm going to crop and I'm going to do the other word. There we go. Okay, so I've now got my with love and they are separate. Now, if I want to make them bigger or smaller so that they are proportionately, I would, no, I wouldn't select them all. I would, I could select one. I could control and select the other and group and then I could make them bigger. Now you might say, well, all you've done is put them back where you've um, un unsplit them. But what it means is I can make them bigger and then I can oops, highlight them and ungroup and they I can oops, click on there and then they are separate. But I know I proportionately made them bigger. So what I can now do is I can stagger these because that's how I want them to be like this. And then I can control and select both of those and group them. I can bring my frame back in. Let's make my frame a bit bigger and take my with love now my with love's a little bit too big but i can make that a bit smaller and can you see how now that is fitting beautifully in there but staggered i just think it looks a bit more artistic being staggered rather than oops one on top of the other so then we can make that a little bit smaller then once we're happy with that and if we wanted to we could always ungroup and then we've got the look, we can move them around independently if we wanted to, look, you can see. But we know they're the same right size because we've, we've resized them proportionately. So once I'm happy with that, I can then select all and group. And that's now one file. So that will actually just about print on a sheet of A4. But if I spin it round, so it's the other way round, that should be square, hopefully, yep. Yeah. So then I can make that as big or as small as I want. So in fact, I could do, if I wanted to do these as labels, I could copy and paste once, two, three. So you see how it went darker every time it did another one. I could now print, oh, did I only do three? Let's do one more, paste. There we go. 
we could do those that like that so how about that that i could print that out and then i'd have a sheet of labels or something that i could put on the back of, of a card or onto my presents so i just wanted to show you how you could split um your um any item you wanted to using your crop 